Hello and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we will show you how to use Design Options tool in Revit. The Design Options tool enables users to create, compare, and analyze different design variations for particular elements or components of a building in one place but in different workspaces, so elements are not overlapping. To open Design Options settings go to the Manage tab and click the Design Options button to open a dialog box. You can also access this menu from Revit Quick Commands bar. Here you can manage all design options in the current project. To create a new design option set click New from the Option Set menu. An option set is usually used as a set of options for one category, for example, furniture layout, materials, planning solution, and others. You can create sets and options as many as you need. When you create a set Revit automatically creates the first primary option. To create an option in the current set, click New from the Option menu. Now you have two additional independent working spaces. From the Design Options dropdown, we can easily switch between active options. Everything that was created before is a part of the main model and is not related to any option. Now I want to offer various planning solutions, so I'm selecting the walls I want to include in the first option. Go to the Manage tab and click Add to Set. Here select the needed option set and check an option where you want to move selected elements. Elements can be added to an option only once, so assigned options cannot be changed later. Let's change the active design option to option 1. Now you see that the main model is in halftone and the walls that we assign to option 1 are highlighted. If we change the active option to option 2, we can see the main model in halftone and highlighted walls disappear because they are assigned to option 1, and option 2 does not have any assigned objects yet. You can also assign objects for specific options while working on needed active options. Let's create some walls for option 2. We can see that new walls are highlighted. Moving back to the main model you will see objects that are not assigned to any option and elements from the primary option, which is option 1 in our case. Now more about selection. While working in the main model you can exclude elements that are assigned to an option by setting the check mark on Exclude Options. You can see that only elements from the main model are selected. To select everything from the view, remove the check mark from Exclude Options. Let's move to Option 1. Here we can select elements associated with the active option only. To select elements from main model, uncheck Active Only. Same with Option 2. If you want to change the primary option, go to Design Option Settings, select a needed option and click Make Primary from the Option menu. Now the main model shows elements from Option 2, which is primary now. Furthermore, you can create views with specific option graphics for each view. Go to View, Open Visibility Graphic Overrides, open the Design Options tab, and select the associated design option from the dropdown. Then click Apply and OK. Now these views show assigned options by default. The feature of assigning a specific option on a view is that it doesn't matter which option is primary, the assigned option is always visible. Select the view with the assigned option 1. You can see the main model and elements from option 1, while option 2 is still primary. Changing the active option to Option 1 makes the main model halftone and highlights elements from Option 1. Set Option 2 as active and you see the main model and elements from Option 1 in grayscale and no elements from Option 2 because this specific view is displaying only Option 1. Same with Option 2 floor plan. Elements from Option 2 are highlighted but Option 1 elements are not displayed. That is also can be applied to 3D views and other view types. Let's make additional 3D views for design options. Main 3D shows the main model and primary option by default and highlights elements from an active option. Assign corresponding design options on other 3D according to their name for better view management. When all of the options are reviewed and you choose the final layout, make sure that it's primary. Then go to the Design Option settings and by clicking Accept Primary, you can delete all secondary options and merge primary with the main model. 
All elements from secondary options and assigned views will be deleted. That's it. Subscribe to our channel to keep learning new things with new vision. Thanks for watching.